Hi Capricorn, it's Leslie with your September forecast. And I just want to thank you all for your wonderful um, views, likes, and comments. I really appreciate that very much. And also for telling people, you know, to subscribe to me. And I really, that helps me a lot. That will help me doing this a lot, doing it more and more. And I also want to tell you, since I've had a lot of questions about it, I don't really go into the whole thing of explaining these planets here, here, and here, or the cards, what they especially mean. I just interpret them for you because I feel that's what that's what I like, and I guess that's what I think a lot of people would like. And so that that's why I don't go into deep, long, deep uh, conversations about what things are, especially the planets. Okay, so let's see what it says for you. It's a good for September. It's a good time to break unhealthy habits and bonds once and for all. And I think you've been trying to break some habits uh, for quite a while. Uh, you, you're much stronger than you think you are right now, and you can do it. You can do it. Um, and, and this is until October 4th. You really have a good, uh, a good aspect that you can get this done. You're stronger than you were before. You really do. And some of it is just self-discipline. Just self-discipline. Sometimes it's hard to do. This will be a good year for to heal physically and mentally. And you've had a lot of setbacks and you're doing very well with it. But it's a time also to just let go, to know that you can't change it. There's nothing you can change about something that's happened that you're unhappy about, uh, that you felt hurt about. Just go on because everything is new every day, every day for us. Get real with yourself and stop pretending that everything is okay when it isn't. Take a good look at it for yourself, if no one else, and your health too. Make sure if you have some problems, go see about it. Go, go to the doctor and see about it. I know you're afraid, some of you may be afraid what would happen, or what it is. Uh, but lead by example for yourself, as well as you do for everyone else, and you do that for everyone else. You really try and be the strong one and lead by example. Lead for, for yourself, take care of yourself very much. Um, and, and like you do others, you take others all the time. Forgive yourself and others and others. You, you'll feel a lot lighter. You'll feel so much better and so much happier. You attract those who truly appreciate you. And there's a lot of people that do truly appreciate you, Capricorn. Um, learn, lean into your own, your own unique traits. Take your own unique traits and um, make them better. Jupiter will help you manifest people in situations that support your dreams. And that's true. The people that help you support your dreams. And you have some dreams that you really would like. You really would like some things to happen for you. The, the full moon on the second helps you see relationships with clarity. Much more than you have seen them before. Be willing to trust the unknown and relinquish control. For it. Just let things go and let things happen. At least for a little bit this month and try it. Romance heats up for you after the 6th, and committed partnerships will be favored very much. And if you're thinking about committing, getting committed, you will. You will, and the other person will also. Your best days are the 6th, the 12th, and the 30th. And here we go with the cards for you. Let's see. Um... Well, it looks like you have you have some new things coming, like you're really thinking of something that you really want to do. I believe that you will you will do it in your, in your environment. This is I love this card. It's up from the emotional dead, new life, revival, renewal. God has sent Gabriel blows his horn to help you through all this. Very much happiness, very much change. Forgetting the past and going on. And feeling feeling good about yourself. Knowing, knowing yourself and look at yourself more. Look at the good things that you have about yourself to give and for yourself to recognize for yourself. Um, the, the hermit means, the hermit to me means wisdom and wisdom and wisdom you're learning. You're learning some wisdom about something that you've got, wanted to know. You've really wanted to know that. Um, and so you have a man, a man that's trying to help you or you could be a woman, these are only symbolic with money or with some talents that could help you get make your dream, make your dream come true. Um, you feel like your friends are not as well, gung-ho, some of your friends that you felt were close to, gung-ho on what you wanted to do. Uh, it's okay. They're, they're entitled to their own opinion. They're okay. Uh, you, have, you will have people that do want to help you, so 
it's fine. And your outcome is, of course, the emperor. So it's very strong. You do have some help. Um, the empress is, is above him. So you have two people that really want to help you get, go forward with whatever, whatever you're doing. Okay, so we'll pick your card, your angel card. And it says, love is the most exciting adventure. Whoa, have fun. Bye-bye.